it's your girl Zemwane and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Buku Diamonds. So today I figured I would go down memory lane and tell you guys why I did a big chop and I guess show you guys my almost one year hair journey. So like most of us, I have fried and dyed and did everything you can imagine to my hair. So with that being said, being in the industry, different type of stylists are in your hair, they're doing different stuff to your hair, and it got to a point where my hair was very damaged. Then I tried to revert to wearing extensions so that I could preserve most of my hair, but then that didn't work because the leave out that I did have that I would leave out the rest of my hair. I had my natural curl pattern. However, the top of my leave out was fried from me straightening it to blend in with my extension. To me, it kind of worked on my nerve because when I would wear it, would wash my hair, literally everything would curl up except for like this little front part. And I didn't like it. My mom is a cosmetologist. So I had my mom cut my hair. I want to say back in last year of October, I believe. And um, so she cut it. She didn't want to cut the front too much because my hair was a really decent length. I'll add a picture. And um, yeah, she didn't want to cut the front too much because like the front was, the leave out was completely just fried. She cut a little bit of the front, a little bit of the back, and I had like this little bob going on. And then surprisingly, my hair kind of grew out a lot. I'll add another picture. And, um, but I still wasn't satisfied. I felt like my, the top of my hair curl pattern was completely different from the back and I just didn't like it. So then I just completely cut everything off. And after I cut everything off, I realized that the front of my hair texture is just different from the back. So I kind of cut it off for nothing. So let's get into it. Okay, so right here is what I was talking about earlier when I used to wear a U part sew in and I would have like leave out. So these are a few pictures just showing my hair with my extensions. It was really cute, but my hair was getting damaged, so I had to next it. So right here, she's cutting half of my bun. And by the way, this is not my mom. My mom ended up moving to New York, so I had to find somebody else to cut all my hair off. So yeah, voila. And this is the start. So this is the start of my natural hair journey. It was really short, I liked it. And then it started to grow little by little. Process, baby steps. Then I finally started to slick my hair back. I kind of wore my hair like that for a while. I kind of like the whole like slick Jada Pickett look. So yeah, kind of rocked that for a little bit. Again here. And my curl started to flourish, and that's when I went out and started buying a whole bunch of different products and a dimming brush. And then, of course, the days I didn't know what to do, I wore hats. Lint check. So, yeah. I started doing finger coils, and this was the result of that. Another lint check. So, now my hair is actually starting to grow. So, now my hair is long enough for braids and protective styles. Had a little mohawk thing going on. I was able to put my hair in little baby buns. And we have a puff, a mini puff. These are some of the protective styles that I wore throughout this whole process. And yeah. And actually the braids kind of grew my hair out the longest. And I think my braids only lasted a month. No. Hey, is it the screen up so I can see myself? See? That's pretty much it. <laughs> 